Okay. So let's add points now. So let's take some deep breaths in and out. I think that's what you might be on, actually. So it's just, I think they're like normal black. Well, it's just how, how like they look like in photocopy 25. Oh, yeah, that too. Um, describe a picture using two sentences. All right, well, if you can kind of see that, can you see that? Can you tell something that's going on there? So, two sentences. Um, it looks like a boy is getting his hair cut. And he's not having a good time. That was technically one compound <laughs> Um, Okay, tell me another thing in two seconds. Oh, about the same picture? Yeah, you can do another picture. <laughs> His head looks stretched at the wrong aspect ratio. It reminds me of the guy in Riddles of the Lost Ark whose head got crushed when he witnessed the Ark of the Covenant open. Okay. Do you feel your breathing? I do. I do. Focus on it. Focus on it. Okay, as long as you see it. Okay, what about this picture? There's, this interaction just seems a little creepy on the surface, like an older man approaching a really young child, but maybe it's his dad. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. Uh, next one. Okay. It looks like a veterinary dentist appointment, and the boy was not expecting it. I have to hold the dog during this. Okay. Anything else? I really hope he's not going to use those painful looking tools on the dog. Without some anesthesia. Do you feel your breathing is okay? Oh. <laughs> I'm really bad at being aware of my breathing. Yeah. Your awareness has been good with everything else, but be aware. It, your brain knows when to breathe, so it's harder to be aware of it, you know? Yeah. Um, but definitely try to. Okay, so why don't you now go to um, the next picture, and I want you to try to talk in four sentences. <laughs> Think about your breathing. I saw a man in the museum, and he's painting a picture of a woman. He has a really nice palette that looks attached to his belt, which seems very convenient for somebody painting in strange places like a museum. So try. I like the tiles. Um, like more sentences, not like and and and. I know. That's Just because, like, we'll talk in sentences mostly. I think it's not always, but. I will. Next one. Um, if you can pick up something. Okay. Um, he's standing on the tile floor. The uh, tiles are orthogonal instead of diagonal, which would not be my choice. Now it looks like it has about 16 colors. And he's inspecting a picture of a woman for flaws. Okay. Maybe he's touching up the paint. Next picture? He did a better job than that fresco restoration a few years back. I don't know. Okay. That was really bad. Um, this looks like an old man. He has a wrinkled forehead. And he's holding his granddaughter. I can't figure out what her expression is. <laughs> but that's a sentence. Okay. Um, and any other sentences? Um, I feel like his hands are wrinklier than his face. But maybe that's the reproduction. <laughs> okay, you can go to the next picture. If you want dumb pictures, don't ditto yourself if you want. Still four sentences. Yeah. Um, wow. Um, these people are having a good time. It looks like the late 1950s. I'm jealous of the fabulous hats. I actually don't really like convertibles. They'd be way too cold for that. Um, he could 
original. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go on to oral resonance. So switch to oral resonance if you have it. Have you? I know it. She did go home, so maybe she could get her hair done. I should know that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's like my best friend in the program. Okay. Um, okay, so let's do a few just warm ups of. Yeah. Mean. 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 Oh, do you want to get. You can grab your iPad. I lose the piss sometimes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but even right now, we don't, we're just going to do oral run. Oh, actually? Okay, I'm, I'm in range. It's strange. My prescribed range now almost feels Sorry, bad. I meant pitch, not oral resonance, unless you can pick, figure that out. Did you do diaphragmatic breathing? Did you do pitch? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, that was my fault. I said the wrong thing. How oh, dare um, Okay, so <laughs> let's do some pitch. One more. It's funny when I went up in the 160 to 200, it almost feels low to me. Yeah. It's weird. Well, you have to work you up to that conversational level after that. And then. Yeah, I think when I. <laughs> and casual, like an right. event talking to people, they drop a little below. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can tell. We should record this for Spooky Halloween. I know, so. seriously. Okay. Um, haunted house for cisgender people. No. <laughs> Okay, so I want you to give me, create a sentence about the given word, um, I want you to focus on your pitch. So the first one is internet. I first got on the internet in 1991. Do you want to put it up here? Used the internet since 1991. That's so good. Anatomy. Um, I don't know much about anatomy, and my massage friends do. Hospital. Um, I almost went to the hospital Monday, but I really wanted to save money. One sentence or two? Just one. Short sentence. Uh, metro. Um, I don't really take the metro anywhere. Good. <laughs> Restaurant. I spent too much time in a restaurant yesterday playing trivia. Children. I don't, I don't really want children. I don't really want children. I don't really want children. Children. I dropped the children. Yeah. It's like peaches. Music. I listen to music constantly. I listen to music 24-7. The drops are hard back Park. Um, my car automatically parks. Yeah. Notifications. My car automatically parks. Um, sports. I never watch sports. I'm slow. I never watch sports. I never watch sports. Career. I may need to find a new career. Money. Um, money can't buy happiness, but it makes a good down payment. Are you feeling comfortable? Like super? Yeah. I mean, I always have to lean. Yeah. Out of the prescribed posture a little bit. Oh, well see then, this, if you want to hold it. I think the microphone's on this side, Marty. Testing, testing. Okay. Okay. All right, now let's do some oral resonance tests. Four months. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I tickled myself. 
that. <laughs> so let's just try some knees. Knee. 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 Can you feel it just here? Keep going. Knee. Bean. Knee. Well, the M is what's okay. I was wondering if I could do it without the M. Um, do you want to try Pete then? Pete. Pete. Pete, Pete. Okay, um, teeny. Teeny. Teeny weenie. Teeny weenie feet. That was good. Feet. So, yeah, something dropped. Say feet again. Te uh, feet. 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 Maybe an arm. Uh, okay, what else? Is drop it. Feed. Or this one. Feed. Feed teens. Feed teens peaches. 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 Peaches is my enemy. I know. It's my enemy word. Well, and this, and these are all focused more towards the same kind of sound, so it's also different. Um, okay. I was doing the teeny weeny feet in the car because it makes me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I always have size six. Size six? Oh, that's small. Different for sure. Teeny weeny feet. Okay, so I'm gonna <coughs> have you respond to some questions and I'll be gonna have you try to talk for twenty seconds. This is Fresno too? What? Is this resonance too? Yes. Now thinking resonance, pitch, oh. diaphragmatic breathing. This is okay for you? Yeah. In your space. Okay. So we're thinking about all resonance, pitch. So I want you to talk for about 20 seconds about um, grocery shopping. Um, I really don't go grocery shopping often. Um, we get Hungry Harvest recovered produce delivery every other week. And um, we use Peapod to get deliveries. And so I step foot into a grocery store maybe once or twice a year. Um, I do get food at the dollar store and at Trader Joe's sometimes, which are like opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, dollar store raised its bacon prices. Do you, do you feel weird? Do you feel it anywhere else? Um, it takes me out of my metacognition to like synthesize sentences. And yeah. so that, well, that's which is part of the charm. practice. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I mostly remember feeling it here. There, I'm sure some came here and I didn't notice it. Yeah. There was some when we, I'm not sure which part it was now, though. But I can totally tell that it had gone down here. Um, just really, just. For right now, like just trying to be aware of it. Um, is there any like visual that might help? I'd be aware of it. Good. Okay, so we'll just keep practicing. Okay, your next one is homework. Um, I'm really bad about doing homework. Um, even in school, like in elementary and, and high school, I would never do my homework and then just ace the test and come out with a B or C, and that was good enough for me. Um, and then nowadays I just have all these tasks and so I'm just I'm really bad at managing my time and I lose time to other people's drama. Oh, I should look at that too. It's okay. Um, okay, now I'm going to ask you some complex questions. 20 seconds also, um, just in response to these. Sorry, I feel bad that I crossed cross my legs, but it's actually so much easier to hold this. Um, Okay, so what advantage is there to having a car in a garage? Um, oh, this is a good one because I don't have a garage in my house. One of my cars lost the moisture seal, and so because I didn't have a garage, when 
I would get up in the morning, there would be frost on the inside of my instrument panel, so I couldn't tell how fast I was driving or anything, and I would have to wipe off my windshield on the inside, and I would always shake my fist and say, you people with your garage privilege. Good. Okay. <coughs> did that, how did that feel? That felt good, but I... I always felt fake to me, but I mean, I guess that's... Do you want to do any more? To get it back? Um, or you feel good? Um, I don't really know. Yeah, I feel good. I just don't know why sometimes it feels fake. It might feel more fake when I'm doing it better, because it's farther from my original voice. Yeah. Because I get, like, almost like a monster syndrome about it. Okay. Um, I'll try to pick out if I, when I hear it. Um, okay. Where does rain come from? Um, rain comes from clouds. Um, I don't know much about meteorology or ecosystems, but I know the water evaporates in the clouds, and then, um, and then um, eventually it comes down. I honestly don't know why. Oh, five more seconds of words, huh? Um, that's hard. <laughs> that was good. Did you feel anything there? I felt like I was Sorry. concentrating on it. I feel like I was concentrating on it a little better. Yeah, like, it sounded practice, good. Practice makes perfect. Maybe because I didn't know what I was talking about, I was able to focus more on it. Yeah, but also I feel like, yeah, I guess, well, you have both situations, but I feel like knowing what you're talking about is also helpful. Um, it usually is. <laughs> what happens if you break the law? Um, when I break the law, I usually get away with it, um, me personally. Um, but technically, you're supposed to get arrested and booked and arraigned and go to trial and sentenced. Um, when people do things to me, that does never seem to happen to them. They get away with it. Um, I took a trespasser to court before. Uh, nothing really happened. But you took, like someone was trespassing on you? I mean, she was arrested and her car impounded. Oh, wow. Here, what, can you see from there? Yeah. Okay, she was, she was drunk at 2 p.m. This angry Trump voter in my yard. Screaming. Uh, she'd been banned from a party at my house. For oh, just, like you knew her before? She was a friend. A friend of my now dead alcoholic ex girlfriend. I showed up and passed out and then woke up and started masturbating in front of everybody. I, yeah, it was not cool. <laughs> okay, so why do people from other countries live in DC? I assume that DC has a greater access to um, to different communities. Um, you know, like not to be cliche, but like Chinatown. If I was Chinese, I would want to live in Chinatown with my people to feel more comfortable and less other. Um, and it's just easier to get around the city. If you come from another country, sometimes you don't have the money to buy a car, so you have to go to walk places. And, I mean, my degree might not be recognized in another country, and I'll just be working on a laundry mat or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, why do we need school buses? Um, I would say the primary reason <coughs> for needing school buses is that children can't drive. Um, but also, it's just not feasible to have an individual vehicle for everybody or to expect parents to do that. It's way too much work for a parent to drive their kid to school and hold a so job. So once you got to parent is when it started to drop, like that whole sentence. So I'm wondering if that's like maybe halfway mark. Interesting. Um, so try to really keep thinking or like I'm trying to think thinking of, where my of mind being went. up. Yeah. I think you're so we're concentrating. I just think your voice is like dropping. Like mine's even dropping right now. Um, yeah, I guess it's more energy to... In the beginning, also. And then I lose the, yeah. my will. <laughs> oh, that was still good. Okay. Um, the next one is, why it's important to stay hydrated. It's important to stay hydrated so you don't have to clear your throat as many times as I do. Um, I get kicked out of class in elementary school uh, for clearing my throat too much. I think if they just let the students drink water in class, I could have been spared that humiliation that I remember 33 years later. I'm going to try to, you know, now that I need to ramble, hug. <laughs> yep. Okay. Good. Um, why do houses have windows? Houses have windows because human beings have this strange fixation with sunlight. I actually cover up all the windows in my house, and I don't look out of them, and I... I haven't looked at my backyard for like five months. Like, I'm not really into windows. To me, they just let your heat leak out and then raise your heating bill. I kind of wish there was something I could put in the outside to completely cover my windows up and then uncover it for the next owner. 
Okay. I see. I look outside the security camera. So I'm like, I have a dedicated television. It's just, it's, I'm it's not like, a security camera like for your house, you mean? Yeah. Okay. And I have a dedicated screen. It's just, I, I'm that. always looking at my front yard, but not through a window. Yeah. <laughs> um, what does a lobbyist do? Um, a lobbyist does untoward things with our democracy by corrupting the influence with money. Um, when Trump talked about draining the, the swamp, I think that he might have actually meant draining everybody who wasn't a lobbyist from it. Um, it seems like a fun job, at least. Uh, if it's something you care about, you get to advocate for what you care about and move money down that path. Why do people tell white lies? People tell white lies often to spare the feelings of who they're talking to or to cover their own asses. Um, honesty is a great virtue, but total honesty in all situations will only make people dislike you and get you in trouble and get you fired at work. Okay, that was it. Um, <coughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I was even giving you some articles. Oh, cool. How's that Skip what? Skip How's your um, things that you had removed? Oh, okay. I mean, it wasn't cancer. So I, I think I just, yeah, it's fine. I got the stitches taken out. Did they tell you to put aquaphor on the other day? Yeah, they put what's called body oil. Or bio oil. I actually went and got it. I was supposed to put it on, like, right after you shower. It really, like, soaks it in. <laughs> and it's supposed to, like, help scarring. Yeah, and aquaphor. I use vitamin E oil. Um, I think it's probably something. Um, Right now. <laughs> what? That <laughs> 20 seconds about stitch removal wound care. <laughs> okay, we just did a complex school question with a single word. Okay, I'm just going to go because oriented steps to the task. <laughs> No, I know. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm getting the practice. Okay, I want you to respond using the given word um, for 30 seconds. Okay, I'll write this down. Do you think this is still doing the thing? Yeah, the green light's on. Sorry, I hit your shift key just to oh, no, you're fine. wake it up. Um, but I tell you. That. Okay, yeah, I can. Let me pass with the head. <laughs> EY. H E Y. Okay, you ready? So for 30 seconds, I want you to responding use a given word. Okay. This one's raincoat. Um. Raincoats are a weird thing to me because I don't really understand the concept of selecting a different coat just because it's raining. Okay, just kidding. I'm taking that back. Sorry. It's okay. I don't know why. I got so tried before. Yeah. It wasn't wrong. Okay. Um. So now we're going to have you for 30 seconds do... I'm going to give you the steps for following tasks, and I want you to explain that. For, I feel like I've done this also. Oh, that's fine. Making a PB and J. Okay, um, to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, PB and J, um, I like to toast the bread. Put the bread in the toaster while I'm getting the peanut butter and jelly. 
I always look in the fridge for the peanut butter and then I forget that I don't refrigerate it. Um, I like to use a different jelly each time. Sometimes strawberry, sometimes grape, occasionally apple. Um, and I like to put the jelly in the middle and the peanut butter in the outside so the jelly doesn't squirt everywhere as much. Oh, that was 30 seconds. Wow, good job. I'm just going to hold it over here. You're talking about food. I can see it fine there. Oh, but you need to see No, just so that I don't sort of keep going back. Okay, the next one is making your bed. Um, I don't really know much about making my bed. I've done it maybe five times in my life. Um, I typically just, when I want to see the bed made, I just push all the blankets on the floor and I'm like, here's an empty bed. Get on it. And I just grab blankets from the side when I need them. I have a nest of probably 10 pillows next to my bed and take them as I need them, lose them in the night, just grab another one. I'm more of a nest nester. I'll grab a bunch of pillows and not even think of them as individuals and lay on them. <laughs> okay. Did you feel a rest? Or yeah. Just... My, my lip feels tickled here. Good. One thing I noticed when I was practicing in the car was like for a lot of low resonance, I have to kind of like, when I imitate, I don't do it right, but I kind of have a different mouth shape, especially in the lower, I'm kind of like, kind of a little, I feel like I can, like, I can uh, see that. Uh, 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 and so what? Low battery. Okay. Um, ordering a pizza. Um, once upon a time, I wrote a program in C and compiled it into an EXE file so that I could take the pizza radius and calculate how many square inches of pizza I would get um, per dollar so that I could compare the best pizza deals when I was in college and I didn't have a lot of money. And it was pizza.exe and I would run it before ordering pizza. Um, nowadays I just go to the website and go with whatever. I don't care anymore. Renting a movie. Um, wow, that's so 1990s. Um, yeah, I used to spend like two hours in the video store trying to pick a, a movie to rent. And um, by the time I chose a movie, I probably could have just watched something on TV that was just as good. Um, and nowadays I don't rent movies, so it just doesn't come up. I have a directory full of like 200 movies that I've never watched, and maybe never will. <laughs> okay. Was it 30 or 20? It was supposed to be 30. Okay. Um, Alright, so checking your grades. Um, I mean, back in the day, when I checked grades, I would have to go to some hall and look at some, like, printout stapled to a bulletin board. Um, nowadays, I assume you just go to some website and do it. Um, yeah, I, don't, I haven't checked my grades in 20-something years, so my knowledge is definitely outdated and um, not really useful to anybody who would ask me this question in real life. Okay. <laughs> I could have updated that one. Um, it brushing your teeth. Um, <clears throat> it seems like toothbrushes are always changing. Um, first they were flat, then they started having some bristles stick up, then they started doing ridges. One I have has a S-shaped ribbon in the middle of it. It's like a piece of rubber for just getting extra oomph. And my wife always calls me a marketing victim when I talk about it, because I don't know what it does, I just bought it because it was different. Um, I like to dab a little um, baking soda on my toothbrush when I do it. Um, I just feel like it works a lot better. Than toothpaste? Uh, both. Okay. But sometimes the baking soda, baking soda don't work. I'm not gobbing off the toothpaste. <laughs> um, showering. Um, I'm hoping at this point that everybody already knows how to shower without having to ask me about it. But um, one thing I like is I used to have a shower diverter. I didn't have a real shower, it was the thing that comes out of the downspout, and I would always have to bend down through the bathtub controls, um, I had somebody put a mixing valve right at my arm's height, and it's so much better now. I mean, it cost $600 to do, but it would have cost 2000 if it wasn't a side job, and it took me 16 years to do it. It's so much better. Last one, washing the dishes. Um, <coughs> I'm a fan of dishwashers and not really a fan of soaking it. Um, we had to hand wash dishes growing up because my parents were too cheap to fix the dishwasher for like four years. And it just kind of became one of those, you know, never again type things. I really don't want to hand wash dishes ever again. Um, when I get really stressed out, I grab a paper plate because I bought a thousand paper plates when my dishwasher broke. But I only do that when I'm behind. I forget, do you have a relationship? 
Um, I defended yeah, my dad two days ago. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so part of the stress of this week. Is that what we mean that like a co will be funny for real life? Yes. I do. I mean, I get along well with the rest of my family. Okay. He's, he's just um, super snowflakey about any criticism and it's really toxic in response to it. Wait one second. If you haven't switched to intonation, please switch to intonation. Sorry. Um, did you have a class last week? Yeah, I did. So we all have to run through like once. Um, I was like, I can just do it again this week. Get it over with Phelps Crash, yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not really hard. I got the easier end. Um, and then so actually next week I'm going to, I can tell you at the end. Is it the last one? No, next week we'll have a normal session. The week after we'll have a normal session, but we're also going to do re um, evaluations again. So taking like your baseline again, like when we did the computer. So doing that again um, to see, to measure your progress. Now when I did that before, I was purposely in my mail. Yeah, so now you're going to do this voice. Um, okay, so now we're going to go to intonation. Neat. <laughs> Where did you? Where is intonation? Where is intonation? <laughs> Where is intonation? Yeah, I mean, I figure just practicing spaces. That's what I'm doing, like, when I'm out of the bar. I'll say something, and then I'll be like, that felt weird, and I'll practice it. Then everybody at the table will look at me like, what are you doing? Speech practice, don't mind me. Or I whip this out and analyze something that I said after the fact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm with one set here. Okay. I kept my voice really good for like three days after the last. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Um, and I was just at a bar socializing. And I would have this on and then look down and be like, how'd I do? <laughs> I also repeat my GPS now. That's like, she has a nice female voice. Let me repeat what she said. Maybe it's like a phase, but with numbers? Yeah, I could have done that too. That's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm just confused. Where? Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Okay. Doing the monotone intonation is weird. Doing the cartoon invitation is even weirder. Bull. Because I get a practice to show you the difference. I feel like intonation is something I was kind of already doing. Yeah, my I, think voice. You, I think you were already were too. Okay, so I want you to respond with one sentence about the given word. So the first one is rainbow. I mean, rainbow. Yeah. Raincoats are associated with both rain and with rivers. <laughs> I'm checking in on tips with everyone and all the clients. So what's what's the average length? The charge frequency. You want one eighty. And is that easy for you to work with? I find myself overshooting it to be too high often. In your connected speech. Um, yeah. Um, so I didn't know the difference. Yeah. But just, just, just talking. Oh, okay. Just okay. Talking. Yeah, because my range was 160 to 200, and when I look at this, I'm, this often, voice going, monitor yeah. I'm, I'm often going over it. So she typically is 180 and up. Sometimes there'll be like a few random words we'll give her to lower, but otherwise it stays in the same range. My enemy word is peachy. Oh, oh wonderful. Right. <laughs> um, and the other thing is, is there enough room for you to use intonation like 15 or 20 hertz above the target easily? So we're just going to use intonation, but I'm not sure that answer. So that's the important piece because that's really feminizing to be able to come up, a lot, you know, up and down from that level. So let's see. Okay. I occasionally dip to 40. It's rare that it happens. With ease or not? Yeah, it's with clarity and balance. It's not like a lift. Yeah. You feel the difference? Like when we're trying to help you, it's still like that. So it's more like a hump instead of a spike. Right. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. It's, it's something that. It's like the drawing that we would do on the board. Right. Um, do you want to walk to them? You can let me know. I'll come back. Okay. Okay, so. Look. I feel like these are harder. Sorry. Okay. Bring them out. It's okay. Um, like having like a second to say it was easier. Your intonation. Guess what? Okay, 
right, so Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Um, I'm going to be making alternate Thanksgiving plans this year. Intonations. I'm going to be making alternate Thanksgiving plans this year. Oh, that's so low. Oh, no, it wasn't. Your lowest was like 180. Wow. Apple sauce. So I guess, in the sense, since I'm giving you a word, you can take a second to think about it because then I want you to do the intonation. Apple sauce is often used as a bad pun for applause. How was look? Is there a way to go back? No. Um, it's when, okay. when I stop, you can look at it later. That so whole, the whole thing is up here. It's crazy. Does it feel natural-ish? Yeah. Or would you, that's something that you could achieve? Okay. Yeah, because I don't really Breakfast. talk low. Um, I eat McDonald's breakfast way too often, way too many mornings. Guitar. <clears throat> um, I've been playing guitar for 20 something years. <laughs> Sorry, do it again. Um, I've been playing guitar for 26 years. Okay. Love. Um, my go to is I believe love is infinite. Um, I tend to believe love is infinite. Good. You feel, do you hear that difference? That was great. Difference. I do. I feel that love is infinite. I feel that love is infinite. You know? Um, meeting. I feel like meetings are the bane of getting things done when you have a job. Ah, oh, that ends with that. Okay, do it again. Make it a little shorter. I feel like meetings tend to get in the way of doing work. Try it again. I feel like meetings get in the way of doing your work. Yeah, do you see how the ending kind of came back up? So. I feel like meetings get in the way of work. Did you hear? Did you hear where my two were? Because you don't want to. This is exaggerated. I feel like meetings get in the way of my work. I feel like meetings get in the way of my work. So I think I did on feel and work were my two cups. And I guess I read something that's like don't end your sentences with a question, and that's made me self conscious. Yeah, about okay, that's that. a good that point. Is um, it, it kind of just does. Yeah, it doesn't really because you know, there's not one spot where it where the um, higher up has to be. It's just kind of what's natural in that sentence. So in that sense, in that sentence, it's okay. To yeah, yeah, that's what I would say. Um, more. I basically need to undo that. Weather. Um, my dad talks about the weather way too much. My dad talks about the weather too much. My dad talks about the weather. My dad talks about the weather. Um, let's go to the next one. We'll do one more and then I'll decide. Intonation's okay. hard. Yeah. If you have just like, I could also probably find a sheet where I'm just like, if you were to like use this for homework and just be like, no one knows me. That's clearly was way too much. No one knows me. You know, like playing around with it, just using, even though this isn't for intonation, like that um, actual. Am I helping to think about it in advance and underline the ones that I yeah. want to intonate and tone? Or not even do that, but just having a sentence ready might help. You don't have to like know where you're gonna, where you're gonna. I feel, I feel like I mess it up and I want to restate it with different ones and try yeah, different ones. Yeah, try different ones, but and in so, real life you're not gonna be able to. That's, so that's like just the caveat to that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Being an average length sentence using two given words. Okay. So use both of these words in your sentence. Ooh. Smoke and forest. Um. Smokey the Bear always said that only you can prevent forest fires. I don't know why I did that. I didn't even pick up that much. Smokey the Bear taught me that only. <clears throat> no, it's because it's on this side. What if you um, flip it upside down? Oh, oh, but then we can't. This app won't flip. <laughs> oh, it doesn't flip? Oh, wait, I know. Do you have this? Yeah. So flip it over. You can even get to the computer, too. Oh, no, that should work. Oh, wow. You can lean it against oh. there. No, then it's going to go down. Anyway. Where's the microphone? Um, testing, testing. It's oh, it's still upside down? It's okay. <laughs> um, they said Apple products just worked. <laughs> yeah. 
I can just put it back to normal. I don't like this case. Your case, yes. Um, knuckles and ring. Like your knuckles and a ring. Oh, um. And I didn't know. I have a Google document tracking my ring size for all my fingers. And I've since learned that some of the knuckles in my right hand are bigger than some of the knuckles in my left hand. Um, that was good, but just make it shorter. Oh. The um, sentence. Yeah. Um, for the purpose of wearing rings, some of the knuckles in my right hand are larger than the knuckles in my See, left hand. We're done at 1230. That's what I was going to ask, because yeah. usually isn't anyone before my class. Oh, no, we're always in here. Oh, really? Your, so students, will, your students just normally be, I think, be even here. Oh, okay. Like, they always rush in here. Okay, 1230. Be Thank you. Uh, rainbows and trees. <laughs> if you're surrounded by trees, it kind of makes it hard to see rainbows. Okay. Um, corn and Halloween. Um, the worst candy to get on Halloween was always the candy corn. It was disappointing. Oh, my drops even are in there. Chart and shift. Mm, let's skip it. Cowboy and leather. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that people have a cowboy fetish wear a lot of leather. Leather chaps. <laughs> Your, your low is still in the range, though. That's, that's amazing good. to me. Um, I still want to bring the lows up, I think. So. Yeah, we definitely still want to work to bring the lows up. A leopard and deer. Um, leopards, tend, leopards tend to prey on deer, assuming they live in the same continent. I think they do. Jewelry and wrist. Um, this week I bought a lot of jewelry for my wrist at the thrift store. Bottle and highway. It's really rude to throw a bottle onto the highway. Do that one more time. It's really rude to throw a bottle onto the highway. Good. All right. All right, if everyone wants to come together for a little group share to end the day. Definitely want to continue during summer. Okay. So she'll, she'll, she's picking me up and I'll grab a schedule and everything else. So um, I'll let you know what she's doing. Average 193. Good. That's awesome. Okay. I think the 910 was the only noise in the classroom. Yeah. Paper shuffle yesterday. Definitely. Am I talking? I mean, I didn't get to a 910 yet. Okay. I think we're going to get that at 1230. So. Uh, <laughs> Everyone just wants to go around and say something they learned about themselves today. Um, I guess I can start. Um, I don't know what I learned about myself today. Yeah. I don't know. Does anyone else want to start? Thank you. Where there's the and I also realized looking around at the book that I was like, I would love it if you could share